Come and fucking get me, you fascist Nazi pig! Choosing the correct tool of destruction and upgrades to go along with it is super important in Wolfenstein 2 if you want to murder Nazis with the optimum efficiency. So let's take a look at what the best upgrades are for your arsenal. I'm putting together a special team. We're gonna be doing one thing and one thing only. Killing Nazis. Sound good? Yes, sir! First up is the trusty pistol. The best upgrade you can get is certainly the suppressor. This will let you fire without alerting nearby guards, giving you a ranged silent attack that is incredibly important in tougher difficulties. This is a great choice for your first upgrade in the game, and even if you prefer a more run and gun played style, having one stealth option can be helpful in case you get stuck and need to mix up your tactics. The other two mods, Magnum and Extended Magazine, are nice if you're in the gunslinger kind of mood and enjoy using the pistol, but for the most part, you'll probably get better results with the other weapons. Next up is the Assault Rifle. This is my personal bread and butter gun. Great at mid-range, it couples really well when dual wielding with something like a shotgun to deal with anyone who gets in too close. The Marksman's Scope is the one upgrade that really changes how this weapon is used and is the most recommended. It improves your accuracy, zoom and damage, making it more effective for killing Nazis at a distance, but it removes the fully automatic fire, meaning that you can't just spray rounds at your enemies unless you remove the scope first. It's a great mod as it makes the gun's crazy recoil more manageable, even when dual wielding, and it's really your only solid option for long distance attacks. The armor piercing rounds are a great addition, they let you carve through enemies and even shoot through thin cover. With the number of armored enemies that the game throws at you, this is probably one of the best upgrades you can get, and it couples really well with the scope. Lastly, the jungle magazine will improve your reload speed, making it almost instant. It's a good one to pick up if you use this gun a lot, but definitely get the other two first. The submachine gun focuses on close range damage and does a great job, however it's pretty useless against anyone more than a few feet away. The most important upgrade for this is the drum sights, as it will keep you firing for much longer. Adding a suppressor is great if you're really focusing on the stealth approach, as with one of these in each hand you can quickly cut through enemies before they can raise the alarm. However generally, the suppressed pistol remains a better choice, simply due to its accuracy and range. Lastly, it can also be upgraded with nail gun. This heats the bullets, making them more damaging but lowering the rate of fire. It looks like you're shooting lasers, so if that's your kind of thing, go nuts. It really doesn't seem to boost the damage per second that drastically, but it can save you from burning through too much ammo if that's an issue for you. The shotgun is possibly the most glorious of all the weapons in your arsenal if you're just looking for raw damage per second. Blasting off limbs and making corridor clearing a breeze, this gun is amazing up close, but not much good if you're going for the sneaky approach. Ricochet has got to be the best upgrade. It lets your shrapnel loaded shells bounce off surfaces for added damage, meaning that you can bounce shots off walls and decimate in close quarters fights. It also makes it a little bit more effective when shooting at someone who's further away. Rota is great for boosting the damage output of a single shot, as all three barrels will fire at once. Useful if you just use the gun as part of a dual wielding combo to deal with close up threats in a single shot, however it does burn through ammo very fast and it lowers your rate of fire. Extended magazines are good for keeping the triggers held down and the shots firing, but honestly you'll normally run out of enemies before you run out of bullets, even without the upgrade. Next we have the handheld grenade launcher. This is an awesome weapon once you apply the rocket upgrade, which lets the grenades fire straight ahead and explode on impact. The shoulder stock seems pretty much useless, it eliminates the recoil but it's far from necessary. Spring loader will pack 3 grenades into a single shot and launch them in quick succession. It's effective, but honestly, you can spam the trigger without this mod for almost the same effect. Your laser power rifle is tied to the Fergus timeline, and it's one of the most important guns you will own, as the new Colossus is packed full of armoured enemies and the laser rifle is the weapon of choice for taking them down, as it's super effective, however it will still need some upgrades. Supercharger is an amazing modification to help you deal with super soldiers and mechs more easily. This is the upgrade of choice for most players. However, battery upgrade is a very close second, as the gun drains pretty quickly and this will double the ammo storage. The scope turns it into a bit more of a sniper rifle, but it's kind of overkill as it's already very accurate and the assault rifle with the scope can already serve this purpose without the same ammo constraints. In the Wyatt timeline, you get the diesel rifle that fires sticky fuel canisters that can be detonated remotely. 
This is a great choice if you like to play tactically, tagging a number of Nazis before blowing them all up at once. The best upgrade is the extended tank. This gun is already super powerful, so adding more shots will let you just use it more. You can change the way the weapon works with the ignition muzzle, which will make the projectiles catch on fire and explode on impact. Lastly, Supercharge will let you fire up to 5 canisters in a single shot. It's useful to charge up behind cover before peeking out and dealing massive damage, but it's not really a vital upgrade. Lastly, we have the Hand Grenade, your perfect choice for dealing with Nazis in a group or behind cover. Electromagnetic is probably the most important upgrade, as it gives you an effective counter to the fast moving robots that you run into, especially when they're in large numbers. Fragmentation is also great as it will boost the damage and the area of effect of the blast, while Diesel will cause fire to spread. That's pretty great when facing a bunch of weak targets. What are your favourite weapons and dual wield combinations? Got any more tips to add about the weapons in Wolfenstein 2? Let me know in the comments below. As always, this is James Sakas saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game.